Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antero Inventions reality update video, episode 20. And this is the episode where I go for the, Yo Dog, I Heard You Like Reskins. So, it's basically, it just says have all your attorneys in the past 10 attorneys be at least 1E308 times higher attorney points than the previous one. Doesn't say anything about the current attorney points. So, it's going to be all about what we see here. So, I'm going to disable dilation. An attorney for this amount of tachyon particles, which is not actually that much. It's I have four E7s, so this is going to be like going to go from 4.86 to 4.98 E7, and yeah, let's. So so when I do this, I'm going to just hold the E key down. This gives me about E370 attorney points. Sometimes it gives me a little bit more. Now I just well now well in the beginning. I can go I can go pretty fast. So what I, what do I need? I need about E six hundred and eighty. That's that's what I want to go for. So whoa, that's a little bit more. Let's restart. <laughs> so E six eighty. What was that? E seven seven seven. So I need E Oh my god, that, that is way more. If I have E seven seven seven, I wanna get about E ten eighty. So what I what I can actually do to nerf my progression is Turn off some of the infinity dimension R buyers. I'm gonna turn them off individually so I can kind of know how much I can nerf them by. So now, well, I start at E370 just like before, and um, I, it's still okay. That's that's too much. I need E680. So that's pretty good. 713. So now I need E about 1023. So now I can control how much nerfing I want. So you can see, and also this says E370, not E398. So now I go to, I go back to automation. I I don't know how much, I'm going to do the third infinity dimension. Wasn't actually that powerful, so I'm going to do the second one. The early ones are more powerful. And I need E about 1023, because... That's what I, I... I do E310 to be safe. So 1023. I'm at 1011. So what can I do? I could wait. That is always a possibility. I could also just... Well, I can also be a little bit less safe and do 1022. That's also fine. I can even do high E1021s. Like, if I get at least 5 E1021, I, I will have at least E308... 30 points more so i'm going to oh yeah i'm just i'm just gonna wait for that i'm literally only 100 times away and it's like kind of just increasing very quickly here okay here we go 3 e1021 4 e1021 and 5 e1021 so now i want to gain a few so so now i've done the first three and i need to do the other seven so what i need to do e the target is e1330 1331 to be safe, but I think I think I can just get it with anything in the E1330 range. So now I go back to automation. I'm gonna do the most powerful one here. Oh my god, I messed I messed it up. I messed it up. I messed it up. Do have to do the entire thing. I just saw it increase so quickly. Okay. For next time. Don't do, for next time, don't do the first infinity dimension auto buyer on the fourth run. So E370. E680. Uh, that was not as good. What was that? That was E732. I want to try again. Um, E680. 711. Okay. I'll take that. So E1021 yet again. So we go back. <laughs> I do this same exact thing. Second and third Infinity Dimension autobiers were perfect to get me to E1021. Another thing I can do is like enable the first and disable the second. Like, I don't need to always have them on, because I am Eternity, which means every all the Infinity Dimension stuff is, in fact, reset. So with this, I can even get away with, like, E1019 or 1020. Or, I mean, not, not all the E1019s, but 5 E1019, or even 4 E1019. So, here we go. Now, I can do, I can even do 1329. For, for yeah, E1329. So, let's go back to automation. This time... I can do something like fourth 
That's not actually very powerful. I'm surprised. What if I do 5th, 6th? Hmm. I'm going to need more boost, but not an, not an extreme amount of boost. So what if I disable all of these and then just enable this and then disable? Okay, pretty good. That was E1324. That is... Um, that is close enough to what I want. So now, I need E1634. Or maybe E1633. So to get that, now maybe I want to... I'm not sure how much I want to enable stuff. I will start with only the first infinity dimension. That gets me up to E1100. So that's safe. Now if I include the second, it gets me to E1200. So I'm still safe. And I'm st okay, so now this is when I'm going to have to... St this is when I start gaining eternity points, when I really don't want to mess this up. But the good thing is that things are going to get a lot slower from, from from this point out. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm gaining now. Which means I can also ch utilize these. I can utilize, like, specific numbers of these if I want. So it looks like I can enable this. This, this gets me up to E1500, the termini points. And I can probably do one more, E1550. I can probably do even another. That should get me up to about E... I need E1634. So I'm now very close. I'm probably going to want to maybe disable the first and enable, like, the eighth. And this will get me... Yeah, I'm very close. I need E... Yeah, I'm, I'm in the safe zone now. So this means... I need E 1940, 1942. I need E 1942. So what I should, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I think I can now get away with enabling all of my infinity dimension autifiers, and also some of my time dimension stuff. I'm not gonna buy max yet. I mean, okay, we can unlock this. I can't afford this with eternity points yet. Just maybe a good thing. I can buy this a grand total of three times. Yay. Maybe I can just buy max of some of these. This is... Yeah, that, that's getting me nowhere close to E1942 eternity points. Even this. Like, like I'm, just get, I'm just buying it one by one, and I'm nowhere close to E1942. So, yeah, this is, is going to be a struggle. But, like, some of the runs will take a long time. Like, this is the first long one. But think of it this way. I am I am now halfway there. I've done five of the ten eternities I need for the achievement. So now the big issue is trying is overshooting because I have too many eternity points. And what I can do here is again infinity dimension all buyers. I'm going to disable I'm I'm gonna disable them all and then see what I can do after that. So it's going to slow things down for now, but I'm still going to gain Replicanti, which is, I think, the big thing for long runs. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been like a 12 hours or something, and you can see E1851, and this is after disabling my infinity dimensions. Let's enable the third infinity dimension. That really didn't do much. What about first? E1867. Hmm. So getting to E1942 is gonna t take a lot here. E even with all this, I'm up to E1898. So I'm still a lot of orders of magnitude away. If I go into time dilation, I can get, I can get like double the amount of dilated time gained. So I guess that's something. It's gonna also nerf all my eternity points. And I'm going to actually re-disable all of this. So I guess I just need to wait even longer. There also is a couple of other things I can do. Like, if I go to my time studies, I can unlock the 6th and 7th time dimensions. Barely. So at least that that's something. But yeah, it's just going to be another waiting game for the next... I don't know how long. It's going to take a while. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back like quite a while later. If you look at look here, 
it's been 37 hours in this eternity, so it's been, yeah, it's a long time, and I'm finally close to E1942 eternity points, and I'm noticing what I can do, instead of going to automation, I can go right into my infinity dimensions and just buy some stuff. Now, ever each upgrade is pretty weak, so I do want to buy some, some of the autos, and is this still not going to be enough? Okay, I have three, four, five. I can probably do two. How about I disable everything else? I, I get one. That gets me to an E1939. So, 1940. So, I should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't even need E1942. I can do... If I do 8 E1941, that will still be enough for what I'm going for. So, let's go back here. Not here. Okay, let's go here. Turn this on. Just keep doing this. Maybe do six. Get that gets me to one E1941. I continue this. Two E1941. Three E1941. Four E1941. I can't believe how particular I'm being here. Um and then Yeah, that that's enough. That's enough. Turn it all off. Eight E1941. Here we go, finally. It is just enough. And yes, I've, I've re-enabled confirmation here. So, yeah. I also reset my time studies because there is one thing I noticed I was missing. Or not missing, but um, in the light and dark studies, I had, I think, I had 223 instead of 224, and 224 is much better at this point. Gets me, like, a lot of extra galaxies. So let's go idle, let's go, of course, all of this, everything here, everything here. I think I just pick all of the dark studies at this point. I could do 225 at this point, but I'm not sure which is better. I did get all the way probably up to E20,000 Replicanti. Um, I'm still going to get this. So before deciding on 225 or 226, I want to... First, uh, we'll enable my infinity dimensions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable all of them because I haven't really gotten any boost from the eternity points yet. And it's probably easier to do something like this than to try to do my time dimension stuff. So there's that. Then then I can go into time dimensions. Let's see, time dimensions. I I could just, you know, buy max of one of these. It's 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 safe to buy max of all these because what do I need? This is about 1E1942, e so the safe answer would be E2052, but 2251 is fine as well. I almost said 2352, and that's, I mean, it gets me the next time dimension, but that's not really what I want. So 20, 20, 2251, that, so I'm still a lot, very far away from that, and you can see... Which is better? I can get 16 from 226. 225 will eventually become better than 16. But it's kind of close. That's that's the thing. And I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be I'm gonna want to be waiting on all of these. And also, like this is a little bit more predictable. Oh, no, I'm gonna go 226 for now. Is I don't even know if that's the best choice. Maybe I'll go 225. I'm gonna go 225 actually, because these law these runs are taking a very long time, and 225 is gonna help more in the long run. So now now I can go to eternity upgrades. I can get these eternity point multipliers. I'm doubtful they're gonna get me all the way to 2251. Yeah, 2206. So I still have quite a ways to go, and it's just gonna. It's going to take a while, and I'm not going to dilate time. I have been getting these upgrades off camera, and yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. The next run's going to be especially rough, but then after that, every, every run, I'm going to be getting a new time dimension. So hopefully that will make things a little bit easier, but until then, see you in a bit. Oh crap, I just noticed something here. Um, this is not an E308 gap. This is about E305. I don't know how I made that mistake, but
but I did. Even this is wrong. I know it's not wrong. That that's just over E three o eight. But no, this gap is not big enough. I'm gonna have to do the whole thing over again, starting from starting from like scratch. I'm gonna try a different strategy this time because this is ridiculous. What if I start start here? Unfortunately, I have to start higher. And you can see I can get E four eighty nine. A turning points. Actually, before I do anything here, let's go into a dilation run because now I can get a triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. I can get probably way more than triple the amount of tachyon particles. Okay, not way more than triple, but I can get more than triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. This will give me more dilated time. And then I'm going to I'm going to go right back into the into this. So E49. I don't know how I messed this up. I just, I need a calculator. Sometimes my mental math just screws up like this. And it's the worst. So, 489. What is that plus 310? 799. So, what I can do is, well, here's the problem. I can only do it once. I need to, I need to go very, very quickly. So, I can do even 798. But then after that, I gotta think about what's next. Because... I kind of got to do bam, bam, bam. And I don't think, what if, well, if the, well, I have some solutions to that. I can, like, disable my infinity dimensions. I'm still getting E489, but now it's going to be a little bit slower. I can even disable, like, something like this. That, that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable all of that just so I can get the 1E798. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is so quick. Even, even at this point. Even though I have so many auto buyers disabled. Um, how about this? What do I do? I also turn off my eighth dimension. Yeah. Okay. I see the path forward. So, zero. And keep that. I'm getting E489 at target points. Now, I do 1E798. So, that is just over E308. I do this, I don't think I'm going to get to E798. Now, I go to Automation, get the 8th Dimension Auto Bar just so I get that, and then stop. See what I got? It's a little more. It's E799. So I can do... That's... three. Okay, 799 plus 300 is 1099. Plus another 10 is 1109. So let's do 1109. So one, one E 1109. I can actually remember this. So one E 11. And let's do that. And now let's again, go to automation. Well, oh, I'm already in automation and turn on my eighth dimension auto buyer. And that gets me just to E 1109. So now redisable. Uh, next step is to do. Well, first check this to see if I, Overshot. It didn't look like I overshot. I went right to 1109. So now I do 1418. Just in, just increase the first digits by three and the second two digits by nine. So 1418. That's what I want. 1E 1418. And then I can start enabling more of my auto buyers. So I already have eight. I can probably I can probably start enabling like seven, one, two, three. Still not actually doing much somehow. I didn't know the antimatter dimension auto buyers actually didn't matter all that much, which is interesting. And then I can start going a little bit more risky with something like um, the infinity dimension auto buyers, like what I was doing before. So. Enable this, but then re-disable, and then start doing something like this, so I can get right to E1418 without massively overshooting it. There's a sixth, seventh infinity dimension, 1404, probably the eighth, if that's enough. Um, disable, please disable, so I don't reset again. Whoa. Also just, also just reset this. So now, I don't even need to check. Well, actually, I do need to check. In case I overshot. I did not overshoot. So now 1727. That's what I that is what I need here. So automation. 
E1727. And then turn this on. And now I can start enabling my infinity dimension auto buyers, or at least a little bit. And that that's another one down. It was a little bit higher though, so I have to be careful. E1728. So that means I want E2037 instead of E2036. So going to automation, E2037. Um, enable, and then just enable the first infinity dimension. It's by far the most powerful. And then I can probably enable the second, third infinity dimensions. 1890, 190 something, 1920, 1930. Enable one more, that's probably enough. And okay, there it is. So disable, go back to statistics. It's just E2037, so I can do 2346, which is actually kind of annoying, but I think the next one's 2650, and I will I will make that next run. Um, but then it's E3000, so it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. So E2346, and then this is where I can start um, buying every single infinity dim infinity dimension automatically. So just get all of this. This will give me probably back up to where I was, which is E2222 eternity points. And then I think the next thing to buy is max time dimensions. Let's see how powerful that is. It isn't very powerful. I want E2346. I'm going to probably need to get all of these. And then I can go for a few more attorney point multipliers, just enough to get me to where I want. So 2330, 2340, and I will stop now because I'm very close to E2346 now. And, oh, it's not buying. Okay, just, just do it, just do it. I forgot to enable that. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, I overshot again, but that's fine. A I should have just overshot to 2350, but <laughs> because that is the, of course, the fifth time dimension. Uh, but that's okay. I should be fine. I may not actually be fine. <laughs> because next run, I need to get E2657. And let's turn this on. This is going to be a very, very rough run. run because, because of just how how the time dimensions work out, I'm going to max all and max all this because this is going to be, this is going to be the grind. The one run where I really, really, really need to grind. And I am actually now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven runs in. I just need three more runs and then I'll be there. But actually I'm realizing this is going to take a very, 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 very long time. And, like, I'm thinking this could take weeks. And I don't want it to take weeks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abort trying again. And I am going to change my time study tree. to um, It's the exact same thing, so I'm going to use 226 instead of 225. This will support shorter runs. I'm still going to go idle. But, yeah, it's... I'm... It's sad that I have to do this, but... This will be the better way in the long run. I can also, while I'm at it, so at this point, I'm actually just going to grind attorney points like normal. Except for one thing. I'm not going to buy attorney point multipliers. I'm going to get all the time dimensions. So let's see, E2580. And the reason why I'm not going to buy any more time dimensions, or not, no, not time dimensions, eternity point multipliers is because of how it boosts, like, attorney points at the low end. And basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get enough attorney points to just get all of the time dimensions and stuff. Or not just time dimensions, but, like, boost it enough that I can pretty easily do 10 runs. So E2650, there is the sixth time dimension. This should hopefully make things a little bit faster. I can also go into time dilation after this run and probably get some more tachyon particles because I have way more eternity points than I had before. So yeah, E2700, um, dilate time, time dimensions, 
And then, yeah, I can get... Because I'm using not that many Tachyon Particles, but it's at least something. It gets me up to 2 E8 Tachyon Particles. Okay, disable this auto buyer because it just it just auto eternity at E2720, 26 or whatever. I'm it's because it's because when I buy eternity point multipliers, it kind of does the it increases the thing automatically. So yeah, I should probably be aware of that. <laughs> Maybe I should actually turn that off, which is something I would almost never do. So I'm just going to grind some eternity points off camera, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to try the achievement one last time. 